Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I would like to thank the opportunity that I can uh, hold this uh, co-reference at this conference. And uh, the topic what I chose in connection with this uh, article is the planning uh, in relation to the environmental protection and I would like to speak about the Hungarian regulation. So, uh, first of all, the rules uh, of the planning system uh, in the connection with the environmental uh, law uh, is in the Environmental Protection Act in Hungary and this act is a framework law. Uh, as you can see at the slide, there are three types uh, of uh, the plans. So it means, uh, first of all, I have to uh, speak about the comprehensive uh, environmental plan, after that the thematic environmental plan, and then the specific environmental plan. But uh, I would like to highlight only the comprehensive environmental plan. And uh, I would like to speak about there are two uh, levels uh, of this uh, comprehensive environmental plan, the national uh, level and the territorial uh, level. And uh, at the national level in Hungary, a comprehensive environmental plan is the National Environmental Protection Program. And this program is uh, mandated uh, by the Environmental Protection Act, is uh, renewed every six years, uh, approved by the Hungarian Parliament and uh, forms the basis of the environmental planning and this is the main uh, statement that this uh, it uh, forms the basis of the environmental planning it means there are other uh, planning uh, documents and in connection uh, with these plans and documents and programs uh, i have to uh, speak about the environmental assessment with an environmental uh, report and uh, this environmental uh, report uh, is prepared to identify uh, what are the significant f effects uh, on the environment of implementing these uh, plans or programs. And uh, this uh, whole process uh, will be the strategic uh, environmental uh, impact assessment. And uh, I would uh, like to speak about uh, some plans and programs uh, and in the case of these plans and programs are uh, an, uh, obligatory so we have to uh, carry out uh, an uh, environmental assessment as you can see in the slide uh, there are some uh, examples on the slide but i uh, would like to mention uh, some of uh, some from this uh, for example, the national and the regional waste management plan and, uh, for example, the medium-term uh, plan of agricultural uh, policy. Mm, but I think uh, it's an interesting question, uh, the relation between these plans or programs uh, and uh, the basic uh, principles of the environmental law. And, uh, I would like to speak about uh, the, the explicit uh, principles of the environmental law. Uh, these principles are uh, in Hungary in this uh, Environmental Protection Act, and uh, I would like to speak uh, and I would like to highlight only one uh, principle, the principle of uh, prevention. And uh, I would like to highlight this principle because of uh, the the planning. Uh, is one of the tool uh, of this uh, principle. And uh, the Environmental Protection Act uh, also gives the authority for the uh, development of national and regional uh, programs and plans. And also this act uh, uh, lays down the rules of the strategic uh, environmental impact assessment. And not only this act, but uh, also the we have another Hungarian um, legal act, uh, this so-called, uh, this is a, a Hungarian government decree from 2005. And uh, there are uh, also an uh, other uh, directive from the EU level from uh, 2001, and these uh, uh, contain some rules about this uh, strategic environmental impact uh, assessment. And uh, because uh, all of this, uh, uh, we have to apply 
the the principles, the basic principles of the environmental law uh, to the plan documentation created uh, in this uh, process. But uh, the other plans can also contain some specific principles. Uh, for example, uh, in Hungary, in the National Environmental Protection uh, Program, uh, contain principles uh, of uh, environmental policy. And because of the complexity of the system, these principles uh, um, have to also fit uh, to the environmental, uh, to the principles of the environmental law, so to the general principles. And uh, yes, I would like to stay uh, a little bit with this. Uh, oh, sorry. Yes. So I would like to stay a little bit uh, um, with the National Environmental Protection Program. And I think it's uh, worth to mention that a proposal for a decision on the fifth national, national environmental program protection program in Hungary up to uh, 2026 was drafted just uh, in this month. And uh, the main task uh, of the program is to determine the country's environmental goals and tasks and tools necessary to achieve them. And the overall uh, objective of this uh, program is to improve the environmental status of Hungary and to ensure the environmental conditions for sustainable uh, development. Uh, so this program provides the foundation to implement the constitutional provisions which are prescribed in the uh, Hungarian fundamental law. And uh, I have to mention three articles uh, from the fundamental law, namely the uh, Article P, Article uh, 20 and Article 21. Uh, which articles declare the priority management of natural, natural resources, the right to physical and mental health, and the right uh, to a healthy uh, envi environment. And I would like to speak one more uh, words from uh, about this uh, program. So the National uh, Environmental Protection Program is a comprehensive national uh, strategic plan document of the environmental aspect, which provides a framework for all environmental strategies and programs and plans. Uh, so as you can see, the uh, Hungarian Environmental Protection Act means the framework uh, of the National Environmental Protection Program. And this program means the framework for other uh, uh, programs and plans. And uh, the so-called other uh, programs you can uh, see at the slide. For example, it means the National Water strategy, strategy or the National Waste Management Plan. And uh, I would like to thank you for your attention.